All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Yahweh is the name of the name of the Father, and Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten Son, who the world knows is Jesus Christ. And I want to give double honor to all the elders and apostles of great millstone who I learned this truth from. And I want to say Shalom to the whole elect. May the Heavenly Father bless you with your gracious mercies. And today, the message is you know, going to be titled. Horsemen of Apocalypse. And you know, this is article I got. I'm gonna read this article real quick and I'm gonna get a couple of precepts. But it says Russia threatens to strike the West. Horsemen of the apocalypse are coming. And you see, and you look at the devil little little Putin. Putin. They 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 know they know the scriptures. It's our people who don't know. You know, they know that that Esau eat them. You know, that's why they just compare they say they say horsemen of apocalypse. They know that they that red horse, you know, who the Lord is gonna use to destroy them themselves. And um the article, just look at them though. You look evil, man. They say one of Russian President Vladimir Putin's top advisors warned that the Kremlin will target Western Decision-making centers if Ukraine uses U.S. supplies rockets to strike Russia, adding a chilling warning that the horsemen of the apocalypse are already on their way. You see? So they, they really, they ready to go to war. They said, because, you know, Russia, they just sent, you know, they just supplied um, Ukraine with a lot of, you know, artillery. And they just said if they use one rocket to shoot you know, if 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 Ukraine use one rocket to shoot at them, it's going down. You know, it say if um, if God forbid these weapons are used against Russian territory, then our armed forces will have no other choice but to strike decision-making centers. Dmitry Medvedev, deputy chairman of Russia's National Security Council, told Al Jazeera. As reported by Metro, it says, "What upon that?" Okay, All right here say Medvedev also issued a grim warning that the conflict is pushing the world toward nuclear Armageddon. You see, and they they know, man. World War Three, man, is it, man is it, 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 World War Three has already started. Just a matter of time before it just reaches you know that peak you know it say the horsemen of the apocalypse are already on their way and all hope now is with lord god the almighty he said you see they they man they know what time it is you know and that's where you get the word um alashaja from almighty you know it say yahweh power if you just look at it you know like it'll be wrote in the scripture if the Lord was all caps, it'll be Yahweh power, the Almighty Alashaja, demon like power. And the world is gonna know the Heavenly Father as we know the Heavenly Father. When when Jacob's trouble pop off, you know, martial law, that famine come, and, and World War Three, and the missiles get shot off. Then everybody they gonna know that it was Yahweh by Shimmy Alashai who done it. You know? I'm going to get on um, Revelation 6 and 3. And when he had opened the second seal, I heard a second beast say, come and see. And there went out another horse that was red and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. You know, that red horse, that's Esau Edom, man. He took all the peace from the earth, man. We get no rest, man. We, we are yet this day in our captivity, you know. We got to get up at 4, 5 in the morning to get to work. You know, it, man, you, you only get a two-day break period, you know, and you don't even get that because we still got to work, you know. And they and they boasting that shit, man. We we eating fake foods. Man, it's the alpha, LB alphabet gang out here, man. They, they teaching it to our children. They're taking peace from the earth, man. You got animals beaching themselves. I seen it. A, a, a video where it was a, a a a goat jumped off the intersection, man. 
They have taken the peace from the earth. I'm um, continuing on. It says, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. And you know that great sword, you know, that was given to um the Esau. That was his blessing, you know. And I'm finna get a couple of precepts to bag it up. You know, he's called him the red horse. Genesis 25, verse 25. And it says... I started 24 and when her days to be delivered were fulfilled behold there were twins in her womb it's talking about Jacob and Esau and on 25 and the first came out red all over like in hairy garment and they call his name Esau you see Esau he came out red all over you know I'm gonna get this that, that great sword that he said you know, and that sword varies, man. Esau, he from the food to to the all the, the the jump shots that they just created to poking your kids as soon as they born. Those are different types of swords, man. You know, this concrete, them them cutting down the trees. Esau, he just wicked, man. You know, trees that's our our way of oxygen, and you you trying to cut that off, man. And, um, it's um Genesis twenty seven, and I'm gonna start at thirty eight. And Esau said unto his father, "Has thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, my father." And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, "Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth, and of the dew of heaven from above." And by thy sword shall thou live. You see? By the sword. And, and that's how Esau got everything. Through rape, robbing, and murdering. You know? They used to really honor Christopher Columbus. But now they trying to, you know, sweep it on the rug and don't talk about it. They taking down statues and shit, man. Because they know this information is being came come come out. You know? And it's proving that they, they the devil that the Bible speaks of. You know? That's why they said they called themselves the horse. They, that's prideful, man. You boasting in something that's going to destroy yourself. You know? Verse 40 again. And by thy sword thou shalt live and shalt serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. You see? But that's that great sword, man. Esau, man, he known... He known for violence. He a bloody man. I'm finna get Psalms 7. I'm gonna start at verse 11. And it says, um, The Most High judge of the righteous, and the Most High is angry with the wicked every day. You see, the Lord, he angry with Esau, man. The ultimate wicked. He is the wicked. And the Lord angry with him daily. And it's just a matter of time. We getting closer and closer to the return of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, when he destroyed this place, you know, and, and ruling our righteousness. He gonna he gonna um put Esau into subjection. He gonna be a slave. You so-called white people that are gonna be slaves to the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, so-called. Uh, verse 12. If he turn not, he will wet his sword. He hath bent his bow and made it ready. Those missiles, those missiles, like he said, they getting ready for a nuclear war. He said Armageddon. See, Esau know the scriptures, you know, and and that's why you know the scriptures even tell you they are wiser than Daniel. Daniel was wise, you know. Daniel could interpret dreams. Daniel was you know real heavy in the spirit, and if they're wiser than Daniel, how much more do they know? They know that they the wicked. They know that they're Esau Edom, you know. They know that they that red horse. It's being described in, in Revelation 6 and 3. You know, that's why they made that statement. The horsemen of apocalypse. That's a prideful statement, man. Uh, verse 13. He have also prepared for him the instruments of death. He have ordained his arrows against the persecutors. Behold, he traveleth with iniquity and have conceived mischief. And brought forth 
falsehood. Esau, man, that's why he's the devil, the deceiver, a liar, man. He made a pit and digged it and is fallen into the ditch which he made. His mischief shall come upon his own head. So all the wickedness that he committed is going to come upon your own head. Those those missiles that you made, that you, like you like you nuke Japan, they're going to come down upon your own head. All that all the wickedness that you have done throughout your life, and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own pate. And man, the Lord finna get ready and do that, man, because we right at the verge of World War Three. We just waiting on a couple of more prophecies, then we out of here. You know, Lord willing, we endure all those things until the end. And up in the end of right here, Revelations. 16, I'm going to start at verse 16. And it says, And he had gathered them together into a place called in Hebrew tongue Armageddon. And that's what we just said, a uh, uh, nuclear war. They're getting ready for Armageddon. And, you know, Armageddon means the mountain of the troops, you know. And um, continuing on, and the seventh angel poured out his veil into the air, and there came a great voice out of the temple of heaven from the throne saying, it is done. You know, and that's what we're waiting on. We're waiting on those missiles to get shot off. And Lord willing, we get beamed up. And this place be finished, man. Then our Lord and Savior, how shall I going to rule this place in all righteousness? Verse um, 18. And there were voices and thunders and lightnings. And there was a great earthquake such as was not since men were upon earth. So mighty an earthquake and so great. You know, and that's talking about, you know, um, Jacob's trouble when they say um, it was not since man were upon earth. You know, that's um, in Daniel 12 and 1. But that great earthquake is going to be caused by those missiles. You know? Because if you get, I'm going to get it real quick. Isaiah 24 and 20. That great earthquake is going to be caused by those missiles. Because it says it's going to cause the earth to rock to and fro like a drunkard. Um, Isaiah 24 and 20. And the earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard and shall be removed like a cottage and the transgression thereof shall be heavy a pundit and it shall fall and not rise again and you see and the lord said this place is going to man the lord is going to shake the world with those missiles literally you know an earthquake might happen in in in, in um cali we might not feel it in, down here in alabama but when these missiles hit man the lord said he's going to shake the whole world man the whole earth is going to shake you know, like the Revelation 16 and um, 18, and the great city was divided into three parts, and the cities of the nations fell, and great Babylon came in remembrance before the Most High to give unto her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath. And every island, every island, fled away and the mountains were not found and there fell upon men a great hell out of heaven every stone about the weight of a talent and men blasphemed the most high because of the plague of the hell for the plague there was were exceeding great and that's going to be that great plague when the lord nuked this place you know matter of fact i'm finna get on zechariah 14 and 12 and this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem and Hashem, will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. You know, Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. You know, their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. You know, it's that great plague when the Lord send those missiles, you know, the Lord said, man, your eyes, your tongue, you know, going to melt in this hole, man, while you stand upon your feet. And that's, that's going to be a, a beautiful day, Lord, when we make it out of here, man. You know, to watch you wicked niggas melt. You know, that's what we praying and hoping for, you know. So, you know, Lord willing, this video is edifying. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.